Cash here. It's another Wednesday. It's another vlog. This time, it's a dinner vlog. So tonight, our goal is to make our normal $110. We're going to be working the Charlestown market, so that's good news. We're going to be working all the apps, and we're going to be trying to make this money as fast as we can. It's about 4 or 11. I'm on my way into the Charlestown market. I'll be up on DoorDash in a few minutes. I'm going to get Maximo fired up, driver utility app fired up. I've already got uh, Instacart, point pickup, ship. So we got the opportunity to make some money tonight, I hope. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this with at least one person in the gig economy that you think could benefit. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash here. So we got our first order. I'm pulling out from Glory Days right now. Got a Glory Day grill order, $7.25, two items going six miles. But the miles and the path, it's like all within the vicinity I want to be in. I can get an order right away when I when I do it. I'm about to power up my Maximo app right now on my way to the customer's house. Perfect order, perfect what I want. And 725 orders in this area tend to have extra tip attached. I don't know if this one will, um, but we're safe. So decent order to start out with. I'll be back as soon as I get to the customer's house and let you know how it goes. All right, guys, back with an update. Made that delivery. Um, it was to a, it was to a business, so I walked it in. Hello, how you doing? You have a good one. Thank you. Ended up with about fifty cents extra tip. I uh, got seven dollars and seventy five cent total payout. That was a three dollar base pay, four dollars and seventy five cents um, tip. And then I was, uh, Maximo had power, repowered up my Uber and my Grubhub and I was logging and I didn't realize that DoorDash, because I guess my volume was turned down, that DoorDash had made me an offer of $23 for Dollar General for 30 items. I probably wouldn't have taken it because I'm not big on big shops, especially places like Dollar General, because it's just a lot of the items, they, they, they end up having a lot of items out and it takes a long time. But anyways, it ended up expiring. Um, and then as I was driving away, an offer came through for $7 for KFC going 2.4 miles, which was auto accepted. So we are on that order right now and heading there to the restaurant to go pick that up. So hopefully it'll be ready to go. This KFC is hit or miss, but I will be back with an update as soon as I get done delivering that order to let you know exactly what payout that is and that will put 14 if it ends up being the seven dollars that's showing end up putting us at fourteen dollars and seventy five cents um after probably about 45 minutes of our first hour all right guys i'll be talking to you soon and i'll be back in a little bit all right guys dad dash back here wanted to do a quick update before i went in here to my next order so dropped off the kfc order there was a slight wait you um went in there uh, Uh, pick it up for uh, DoorDash for Susan P. I'm making it for you. Now. Awesome, thank you. Uh, it was probably about a five minute wait. Grabbed the order. Um, ended up getting to uh, the cut, you know, going right over to the customers. Nothing eventful at the drop off, but ended up with a three dollar base pay. Seventy five tip. I did get offered an eight seventy five add on for ten miles for a Chinese restaurant. I turned that one down. Now, as soon as I got done with this, things kind of went crazy for a minute. I ended up getting a DoorDash order for seven dollars and an Uber Eats order for fourteen dollars, all for the same restaurant. I wasn't able to see what the restaurants were. I knew I had some cancellation in my DoorDash, so I went ahead and accepted both to see if they were heading in the right direction. With the idea that obviously I was not going to be taking. I was not going to be giving up the more expensive one. Turns out the DoorDash was going in the opposite direction with some complicated instructions, something about meeting you in the lobby, and da 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 da. And I said, you know what? I'm getting out. Not for seven bucks. Might be eight, maybe nine, maybe ten dollars at best. I have a fourteen dollar deal. 
That's about 27 minute estimate for time. I can get that done. So we are at the pizza shop right now. I'm about to go in and pick up the pizza. It's kind of a large order. I'm going to go in here, pick up this order, and get down the road. And we will be booking a close to $28 first hour. So not a bad start at all to the day. Uh, hopefully it continues and continues strong. So guys, I'll be back with an update as soon as I get done here, as soon as I get uh, this order picked up and completed. And I'll be back in a bit. What's going on guys, Dad Dash here, and I wanted to uh, let you know that we did get the Uber order delivered. It was not without issues though. I picked up the order, that was not a problem. However, there is road construction surrounding the shopping center, and it was a nightmare and a half to get out of there. Um, I literally had to try three different exits. Finally, I found a back road out of there, but it delayed me significantly. Um, now the order's been delivered. Of course, I have no idea, you know, at this point what exactly what the tip will be, except my, my estimate right now is the the, the uh, original trip estimate was fourteen forty three, and it looks like uh, eight dollars and twenty eight cents was the base pay. So I guess I'll be getting somewhere around six dollars and some change as a tip. I assume I'll get the full tip. You never can assume though, uh, especially with Uber Eats, but. Um, that's where we stand. Unfortunately, the secondary effect was this thing was because I had to go the back road. Like I said, this whole order has turned into a much longer trip than I really originally thought. So long and short of it is I should have just taken the DoorDash order. Well, I don't even know that actually. It would have been worse because that was $7 versus 14 But anyways, that shopping center is off my list for tonight. I won't go near there again. I'm going to try to stay out of that area. But anyways, we're on the hunt for another order. Uh, all the apps are all jacked up because we were in bad cell phone service. I thought I lost my DoorDash shift. I didn't. So uh, just right now, we're in kind of in flux and trying to get recovered and get back into the area and get things rolling again. Uh, so I'll be back with an update here as soon as we get another order. Talk to you guys soon. What's going on, guys? Dad Dash back here. So I want to jump in here really quick and let you know we did get another order. This time it's a Popeye's order. We just pulled up. I'm a little, little spotty on this Popeyes normally, but it's been kind of a one of those evenings where a lot of a lot of low orders were coming in. I actually got a Uber Eats order for twelve dollars two miles. I was uh, standing in sheets um, waiting on a on a on a milkshake because I figured why not? It was slow, and I got the order. I said, "Well, wow, it's awesome! All the waiting was worth it." And then two minutes after I received it customer canceled the order so um i ended up getting the the the, uh, the next order i was offered was the seven dollars going four miles which i'm okay with i think it'll probably be about an eight dollar order so guys i'm gonna jump in here pick this order up and of course as always i'll be back at the end uh of the order to tell you how this goes and let you know exactly what the payout is all right guys talk to you soon all right guys dad dash back here with a with an update here just got that order delivered for DoorDash, there was a slight little wait um, at Popeye's when I arrived. It wasn't too bad at all. They were actually really, really, really on point today, um, doing a really good job. I mean, it wasn't, it hadn't been started when I arrived, but they got it done and turned around really quick. Um, and then I drove it out here, got it delivered. Total payout ended up being $3 base pay, $4.50 tip, $7.50 total payout for $21.43 order value. So. Um, not not the strongest order value, mainly just because of the size and the time, and you know with a little bit of wait time I had and then the drive time, it just just took too long. So, anyways, guys, I'm heading back now towards the area. Well, it's really the main area for restaurants and things. I'm 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 hoping I get an order relatively quickly because we need to get that pace turned up again, like it was going the first hour until we decided to head out of the area for that big Uber order. So we'll see what happens here, guys. Um, I will be uh, talking to you soon here. I'll come back as soon as I get another order. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Talk to you in a minute. Dr. Pimlico Drive. All right, guys. Dad Dash back here. So we did find an order uh, relatively quickly since the last time we talked. Got a $7.50 six-item order going four miles for a local Chinese restaurant. Pretty certain this is going to have a little bit of extra tip in there. I'm thinking this might be around $10.00. For five miles so if that's the case it'll be a pretty decent order hopefully it's ready they're normally very good and on top of their orders 
So we're going to head over there, see if the order is ready. If it is, we'll get it picked up. If it isn't, well, hopefully it's not a long wait. And then, guys, we'll get that delivered. And, of course, I'll be back to talk with you Continue and go straight. over exactly what the final order stats are. Talk to you in a minute. Citizen's way. What's going on, guys? Dad Dash here. So, uh, back with a report on um, the last order. So, got to the restaurant. As I predicted, there was no wait. I went right in, grabbed the order, loaded it in the car, drove on down here, made the order. Fortunately, there was no extra tip. Now, I really thought there'd be extra tip on this order. My spidey senses were tingling, and I was wrong. But, that happens sometimes. So, ended up with a $7.50 payout, $3 base, $4.50 tip. Uh, luckily, I ended up walking into another order almost very soon after. Now, this one, I'm quite certain there's extra tip. It's a McDonald's order, $7 going four miles. And a majority of those miles are to the restaurant. I would have traveled them anyways. And then we're gonna go down to a favorite area of mine that normally does have extra tips. So we'll see if I'm right, if this one is uh, is the one. So, uh, so far right now we need $54.07 to reach 100 and we need $64.07 to reach 110. So like I said, it's uh, the pace has definitely been off. That, that Uber order took us way out of our game. I think that was a mistake to have taken that for multiple reasons, even though it was a big order. There was no extra on that. It was, uh, you know, like I said, a $6 tip. By the way, I did get the full tip on that. Uh, this full six fourteen, But it was just a pace killer. And some of those orders turn into that. And I was fearful when I first grabbed it up that that could be the case because a trip to that mountain tends to take, you know, you're not really going to be able to get any other orders. So... We'll see what happens here, but the thing what I've uh, found with gig work is, is it just takes one order to write that. It takes one order to get you off track, and then it one takes mile. one order to get you on the right side of the tracks again. You know, you just never know what's going to come. You just got to, that's why I, might, I preach to anyone who wants to do this work. Follow your fundamentals. Don't, don't try to force anything. And it will find you by the end of the night if you're doing the right things. Make positive decisions more than more than you make the negative decisions, and you're going to get the outcome you want at the end of the night. Don't live in the short term. Long term. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a four- or five-hour shift that you're going to be out, maybe eight hours that you're going to be out. You're not going to make all your money in one hour. You just got to keep making the right decisions. And eventually, you will find your way there anyways guys i'm gonna jump off here focus on getting to the restaurant i appreciate you coming along with me tonight i'll be back to talk to you about the order once i get there and get it delivered to the customer hopefully this one has some extra tip hopefully i'm unless my spidey senses are wrong again we'll be striking out like crazy tonight but hopefully not talk to you soon all right guys dad dash here and wanted to come back to you to let you know how this order went uh but we just got the uh, order delivered there for mcdonald's the seven dollar order I told you I thought there'd be extra tip. There was, but let's rewind a little bit. So, let's talk about what happened when we went to go pick it up. So, I went to the restaurant, went to go pick it up, and there's my bag sitting, and I was respectful. Um, it just was sitting there right right in front of me, right where I could grab it, but this place does not like you to reach over the counter and grab your bag. So, I respected it and created a small wait. However, it was pretty much already ready. I grabbed my bag, went to the customer, just delivered it. it regular this person I've delivered to uh, on well for food delivery mainly DoorDash but I've delivered for shipped and Instacart for this individual many many times so I knew right away when I pulled up that there were more likely than not be some extra tip just simply because of who it was now uh, ended up being three dollar base pay 550 tip we ended up with a final order value of twenty three dollars in eighteen cents now Today's not been great, guys. This has been one of the worst dinner shifts I've ever had in a Charlestown market as far as it's just been slow. That Uber really wrecked us. I normally never earn 
less than about $25 an hour up here at dinner. I mean, that is consistent. It's consistent as the sun coming up and go and coming down in the evening, going up in the morning and coming down in the evening. However, today, not to be. $17.18 average order value so far. Uh, just not, a, like I said, the killer time was going up on that mountain. That really killed us. But it's also our average delivery order value was only $23.84. So definitely a lot to take in. Our work rate 72%. Our uh, minutes per order was 31. So we're averaging less than, less than two orders an hour. So right now, I've got to really recalibrate here. I think I've got to try to go and maybe attack some lower orders. I think I've I put the bar a little too high, and I took myself out of some of the smaller orders that I could have done really quick and ramped it up, which is why I come up here in the first place, but I was trying to see if I could do a $7 minimum and see where that took us, and it's not taking us very well. So we're going to recalibrate. We're going to get back at it. I'll be back when I uh, get another order, guys, and we'll see if we can get this evening turned around before 8.30. We've got less than an hour to go. And we have a pretty big deficit in front of us as we still need uh, $45.57. So, guys, we'll see what happens here, and I'll be talking to you soon. Dad Dash back here, and uh, I'm happy to report that we did get an order. Um, Grubhub came into the mix for the first time tonight. First time in a very long time, actually, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, $9.10 for miles. So I've already picked up the order. That went very successfully. And I'm on my way now to the customer's house to make this order drop off. So hopefully this order looks like it is on a very good pace. So this should come in at a strong order value. The key here now is, is to getting another order before hopefully we drop this one off. So I'm going to turn the apps back on, get those apps fired up, and hopefully we have something to do before we get this dropped off. Talk to you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. Dad Dash here. And I um, want to go over that order with you. So, picked up the order. As you know, I think I came on after I picked it up. Successful pickup. Got to the customer's house. Successful drop-off. Um, no issues whatsoever there. Ended up obviously with a nine dollar and ten cent payout. There's no extra tips or anything like that when it comes to grub up. Um, the only mystery is is what will the order value be? And this one came in at twenty seven dollars and thirty cents, our second highest order value of the evening. So very strong order. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it was our third highest order value of the evening. So strong order value, exactly what we needed. However, what didn't happen is we did not get an order booked before we delivered it. So, we did get an offer. We got one offer from DoorDash. It was not doable at all, um, and I had to turn it down. So, well, I, the system turned it down. It was like 525, I think it was for seven or six miles. It was not going to happen at all. No chance in the world. Anyway, so, we're heading back towards the center. There was a couple of Instacart orders that I was looking at. Now, I thought I might do it. looks like somebody else grabbed them. I had said if they were still available when I got done, I wouldn't consider it. But I'm going to head back in the direction of the center of the market. And I'm going to basically go to the center, do a circle, go up to the next hot spot, circle that. And if I don't get an order by then, I'm going to head towards the direction of Martinsburg. Because we need about $35 right now to hit 100 and $45 to hit 110 We are still very far away from where our goals need to be at. And this market is just too slow tonight. So we're going to move out of the market if it's not going to give us orders and see if we can get something going down in the Martinsburg market and see if maybe we can get a Spark order on or two uh, before Spark closes out at 10. We've got two hours of Spark left. Sometimes at the end of the night, they'll start firing off some orders. That'll be pretty good with some pretty good values. So, guys, that's where things stand. I'll be back when I get another order, and I'll be back to talk to you soon. All right, guys, so I am... Back in Martinsburg, I did not uh, get any more orders in Charlestown. So I got down to Martinsburg, and I ended up coming up with a Spark Shop for $16.61. No tip, but just base pay of $16.61. I'm basically going to be getting a, a, a thing of sugar and a thing of Dr. Pepper. And I'm going right around the corner. So figured, why not? 
I'm going to jump in there, grab those items, and then I'm considering maybe doing a, a spark delivery pickup. I don't know. I'm going to see what comes up. i am paused my dash and turned off Uber and Grubhub. So once I get done with this order, I will come back and see what's going on with those. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I will uh, talk to you here once I get done with the shop and get it delivered, and we'll go over exactly how this order turns out. Talk to you soon. What's going on, guys? Dad Dash here, and I am coming to you... Um, from the parking lot, I already completed the order uh, that uh, was the Walmart order that I was telling you about. Um, went well, two items, picked it up, um, drove it out to the customer's house. It was not long at all. Total order time, uh, including the shop, took about 28 minutes. So not bad at all. We ended up with an order value of $35.59. So that leaves us sitting at... Order from Sheets, total miles, 2.6. Current price, $6.25. That's what we're going to do in order here, guys. Price uh, $80.14 for a very weak, very weak, $17.74 average order value for the evening. And we have risen the average delivery order value to $25.99. So... Um, like I said, very weak in terms of just the evening. Um, but we just accepted a 625 order, six items from Sheets going two miles. So I'll, I'll take that order all day long. It's 9 o'clock. We're going to keep going till probably about 9.30, as I promised. Well, I think I said 8.30, but I, I've extended it to 9.30 because it's, it's just been a really, really challenging night out here. So I figured a little extra time would not hurt. So, guys... We just got a Sheets 625 order going two miles, six items. I'm going to run up here to Sheets and go grab that order, get and then hopefully get that delivered, and then I'll be back to talk to you um, about what that order turns out to be. We need about $19 just to hit 100 We need $29 to hit 110 Like I said, I did not dream that we would be having the challenge we're having right now just to hit those numbers. But that's where we're at. So anyways, guys, I'll be back. I'm going to go get this order, and I'll be back to update you soon. All right, guys, Dad Dash here. Wanted to come on really quick and uh, just go over this last order for you. Just uh, went to Sheets. Um, order was already ready. Picked it up. It was a multi-bag order, so there were two bags. Uh, got it out here to the customer's house. Delivered it. And it was a, uh, there was a little extra tip. It was 50 cents extra. 225 base, 450 tip for a total order value of $23.82. So not enough extra to pull it out of the dumps there and keep and get it over 25. But anyways, guys, we're gonna head back towards uh, city center um, and try to see if we can find something else. Outback still open. Maybe we can get one big order. Oh, looks like sheets again, 450. Not gonna do it. It'll be turned down automatically, but. A little frustrating right now, guys. Thirteen dollars and eleven cents to go for a hundred, and twenty-three dollars and eleven cents to go for one ten. Um, and we're nine twenty-four, so we'll see what happens here. It looks like Bad Habits Bar. Order from Bad Habits Bar. Total miles two point nine. Current price six dollars twenty-five cents. Price per mile two dollars sixteen cents. Yeah, that place doesn't have their orders ready. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna jump off here, try to find an order, and I will be back to talk to you as soon as I do. And uh, hopefully it's soon. All right, guys. So Dad Dash here. So I'm back in the parking lot here in front of the Outback, and an interesting thing happened. Now, I've been turning down a lot of orders. Okay, I was because they're just garbage orders. I mean, really bad ones. Uh, there's even some 625 ones where you know there's hidden tip, but the miles are just too heavy, like four or five miles, but going too long. Anyways, I turned an order down, and they just ended my dash. They pulled me to the 10 minute screen, but I hadn't obviously been paused for 10 minutes because I was getting orders. And they claimed I should have got a screenshot and I didn't. I was just shocked by it. I got back on. I was able to get back on, but they ended my dash claiming I had extinguished the 10 minute mark. Door dash. That's not cool, man. Anyways, this is what we're living with, guys, right here. This garbage. 250 orders. Really terrible out here. It's 9.30. I'm about to call it. You know, some days you get it, some days you don't. I'll be back to let you know. I'll, I'll be checking in from my driveway or maybe getting an order 
to try to close out this thirteen dollars between a hundred. Incoming Where am I right now? So we'll see what happens, guys. Talk to you soon. Current price five dollars. All right, guys, I'm back. Instacart comes to the rescue to the Seven Eleven right near my house, going point four miles from the store for eleven dollars and sixty eight cents. That's going to put me within a couple of dollars of a hundred. I can probably accept that. That gets me moving towards home. I'm going to start moving in that direction. DoorDash, shameful tonight, man. Terrible. Um, didn't hear from Grubhub much at all, so I can't call them shameful or not. They just didn't give me any orders except for the one I did. Uh, so I'm like 100% acceptance rate with them. And then Uber Eats was decent. I did two of two in Charlestown, and then I came down here, and they sent me some turds. So anyways, guys. I'm going to go and head on and try to get this Instacart order picked up and delivered because it's literally pick up and I go right on down the road towards my house, drop it off and a little bit up close to my house. And maybe I can catch a little a little order around my house area that I don't mind doing those orders. And here we go, Buffalo Wild Wings. Total miles, 7 dollars We're going to turn that down. I got $11 going the other direction. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of this area, and I'll be back to tell, talk to you once I get done with this Instacart order. Talk to you soon. What's going on, guys? Dad Dash here. I am in my driveway, and uh, I think when we talked last, uh, I had thought the day was saved by an Instacart order. <laughs> well, that was its own little disaster. We got in there. The slurping machine was... I, I realized, and again, this is my mistake. I wasn't thinking, and I realized I had to shop the order, right? Well, I got the worst order you could absolutely get for 7-Eleven. The slurping machine was broke. And then my customer decided to just go off on a tangent. I got, she asked to have the Slurpees replaced with Cokes. And then I said, okay, cool. She then said, well, I'll, I'll refund, go ahead and refund back the, the, the pina colada Slurpees. So, I proceeded to do just that. Then... She asked, after I got into three Cokes ready to go, she changed them to Pepsis. I was like, okay. Then she, I started getting the Pepsis prepared. I dumped out the Coke and was getting the, the Pepsi in there. Then she decided she didn't want one of the Cokes and wanted that replaced with a Monster. Then decided she wanted the pina colada drinks replaced with a Dr. Pepper. Big gulp. That man, it was all over the place. Anyways, it ended up taking me like 22 minutes to complete a shop that was candy bars and sodas. She took about 10 minutes to decide on the drink replacements. And then texted me and said, "Don't I, you can't pull in my driveway. You need to put the drinks over. And I'm like, oh my good lord. Anyways, I followed all the instructions. I hope she was happy with her order. That got us to about within uh, like a dollar of a hundred bucks. It wasn't looking good from an average order value. So, I started heading towards my house, and I got a $5.75 sheets order going like one mile. Well, it was like 1.7 miles, but a majority of the miles were to the sheets from where I was at. So, I went ahead and took it because I thought I want to jump over 100. Took that order. Order was ready. Delivered it. Almost delivered to the wrong place, but I, I have a way I check things with GPS because it was dark, you couldn't see addresses but I got it right, delivered it and ended the evening with $104.36 and there was another five seventy five dollars order out there that, that, that kept coming to me because I kept going in and out of Dash con considering it I was at the McDonald's but I'd already gone to the store to pick up uh, an Icy for my wife and couple of candy bars she was craving some chocolate and i was like you know what i don't want to stay out here for another 20 30 minutes make her icy melt so made the decision to come home so here i am guys it was not a good night one of the worst dinners i have ever had in charlestown uh, ever and one of the worst dinners really i've ever had overall it really really was bad ended up with an overall Average order value of sixteen dollars and sixty-five cents. We did eleven total dashes. We had a uh, average delivery value of twenty-four dollars and sixty-five cents. I mean, just horrendous. Uh, really, no other way uh, to put it. And it was just 
Very, very unsatisfactory for me. Um, we had a 67.55% work rate. It was not nearly busy enough. We had an, a 34 minute uh, minutes per order average. So we were doing less than one order an hour. Uh, and, and of course, uh, this tells the story. Our average order per hour was, or our average order size was $9.49, under $10. Under $12 ain't going to cut it if you're not getting to work. So, just a challenging night. But, although we came up short, we did at least hit 100, which is our bare, bare minimum. And, you know, it is what it is, guys. This is what it is. It's a summer, it's slow. You have days like this. Uh, and that's all you can do about it. So we're going to shake it off. I'm, of course, going to go dig into the stats, figure out, you know, what I can do differently tomorrow when I go out. Um, and that's all you can do. Um, and I'll come up with a different plan, go out tomorrow, and, shoot, and I'll hopefully have a better day. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming along with me tonight. I appreciate you being here. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, share this video with at least one person out there that you think could benefit from seeing the content here. And guys, I'll be seeing you soon, and I'll talk to you in a little while.